All right, so today I'll be working on installing this Netgear AX1800 dual band access point. Uh, this is going to hopefully increase the Wi-Fi signal to my garage in order to keep my uh, camera and the garage door opener functioning more than what it is now. At the moment, I get maybe 75% of the time is disconnecting or unable to connect to my app in order to open the garage door or to view the, the live feed from the camera. Comes with the uh, installation guide. Uh, let's see what's in here. All right, so it looks like there's some steps that we were gonna have to follow there, no big deal. Got four ethernet ports. Uh, one is to the WAN, which uh, is fine, and then three, to connect to other devices if you need to hook them up. Uh, I'm not gonna be using those at all. And then it also includes ethernet cable and the power supply. So right now I'm in my office in the basement. I'm going to install this in the laundry room. So let me go over there. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see very clearly, but I've terminated this ethernet cable here. This one runs from that back corner where my office is um, comes off of the switch in there. And this is the garage right there. Change of plans. We're running Cat6 to the garage and putting the gateway out there. Um, so we'll be running the cable out to the garage, finding a location to put it there, and then uh, attaching the other end here uh, to give it internet access. So I'm gonna have to try to find the cable out there. There's a freaking mess up at, uh, in the garage, so um, we'll be back once I'm out there. Okay, so I pulled <laughs> way more cable than I actually need. Uh, the idea is, bringing it down and over, or up and over, uh, the door. And there are two nails here that are gonna assist me with that, uh, with keeping them there, so excuse the uh, cobwebs. So I'm gonna nail a fastener on the corner there, on that side there to hold it and then I'm gonna bring it over the door frame, drop it down onto the shelf, and then power it on that outlet back there. It's a freaking mess out here. I need to clean the garage, but it's never an important thing for me, so. And then we will go downstairs and continue on from there. All right, so we have the ethernet now connected all the way through goes down and then out into the garage. All right, so now we're back in the garage. Got the access point. Okay. Now that's plugged in. Let's see. I'll have it facing that way so that the cables aren't putting any tension trying to spin it around. I'm gonna wait for these lights to turn green. All right, and we're good. So we have power, internet, 2.4, and five gigahertz. Now we're gonna go through the setup. First thing we have to do is connect to the access point. Mine is Netgear 74B33. Enter the password that came with the device and then we'll connect okay so then the step is going to the URL. All right. Router login. OK. 
Okay, so we are receiving. Okay, so continue is what it says on the instructions. Just not seem to be doing it. It's taking forever to load. There we go. We're just going to go with allowing them to, to do the settings. So, oh, you know what would be helpful? If I actually plug in on my switch and so that I can give it internet. So that is something that needs to be done. All right, now that I connected the gateway to actual internet connection. Let's go ahead and go to the browser. I'm still connected to the Netgear 74B33. Go here and let's do try again. Now it's gonna check for internet. This seems to, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm gonna pause, but here we go, let's hit next. All right, so I'm gonna set username, or okay, we can set the password, so let me set that. All right, so I've set the new admin password and I've set security questions to recover that in case I forget it. Um, we're just going to change this to security. Right. And let me set a password. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I've gone ahead and, and set that. Uh, I'm going to enable the smart connect. Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm only going to connect those two devices to it for now. Uh, so it, nothing else is going to be connected to this. So here now it gives us the option to print our credentials. I'm not going to do that. Now it's going to check for updates. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to pause. Oh, never mind. All right, so we're going to go ahead and update that. We want the latest firmware. All right, I'll be back when this is done. All right, so somehow we were disconnected from the router so we'll go to here I'll enter enter the password here real quick all right so now we're connected to it and let's go back to the router login.net uh, the firmware failed so let's see if it'll allow us to update it now All right, so it looks like so what's next is to hook up the devices that are in the garage to connect those to this access point. We're gonna go into the app. I've reset the camera. So now we have to add the device. All right, so delete, add camera. So now it's going to pair to Bluetooth and it will ask us to select a network. All right, let me put that in real quick. Okay, so now it's connecting or attempting to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, and then go ahead and set this up. So then as you can see, we're gonna, it's trying to connect right now. So there's the live feed from the camera. 
All right, now I gotta do the garage door opener app. All right, so for this Chamberlain Mic Q, you hold the middle button to disconnect it, and then it's gonna put it into setup mode. Okay, got the blue light blinking. So now, on the app, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the Wi-Fi settings. I've already done that. It'll repair there. And then, let me enter this. Okay, so now it's gonna do the same thing as the camera. It's just gonna connect and then the device will turn to a solid green light. Okay, so let's see if it works. It'll blink and beep, and then the door should close. This door is a wooden door, so it's super loud when it when it opens or closes. But here I've, I've triggered the open, and it's opening the door. All right, so now the camera is set up and it's actually running. We're on a speed test directly underneath the camera connected to the Wi-Fi network inside the house. Wow, that's really bad. Okay, so 13. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna hook it up to the network here. So run a speed test. Now we're getting better speeds.